Hey guys, what's going on? This is Adam for FXE79.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a plugin for a bucket server, uh, Minecraft server that is. Uh, I may do a few other videos for different Minecraft uh, SMP mods, but for now we'll stick with bucket since it's probably the most easy and prominent and uh, well managed uh, project out there, as opposed to something like Canary or something, which is kind of out there, it's kind of not really developed, but at the same time, it seems to be developed, and it's it's really weird. It doesn't make sense. Um, <clears throat> anyways, to get the latest version of Craft Bucket, which you're going to need to run the server, just go to ci.bucket.org. This is their automatic build system called Jenkins. Uh, go to dev craft bucket and just find the latest one, latest build with a uh, promotion star next to it. For us, that's build 1337. You can go ahead and go to build artifacts and download the craft bucket snapshot. I already have it sitting right here. What we're going to do is make a new folder to run our server in. Uh, I'm going to go through the server creation really fast, but if you are unaware of how to create a server and you need a little bit more of a step-by-step -step through uh, walkthrough, just go ahead and click the video screen right now or click the link in the description and I will give you a link to a full length uh, video on how to set up a server and also port forward so other people can connect to it. So we'll just type bucket server, open that folder up, and drag this into it. And then we'll paste our uh, batch script to run the program itself, which looks a little bit like this. So that'll go ahead and generate all the files for you. And it just looks a little bit like this. You can get this off of the full length tutorial if you're unaware how to set it up. But that'll start generating the world for us and set up all the files we need. And uh, plugin installation is something that uh, a lot of people ask how to do, but uh, you'll be angry at yourself for how easy it actually is to set up. Um, so if we go ahead and run the server actually right now, and I jump into Minecraft and connect to this server, you'll be able to see that it is running and uh, it is a vanilla server, meaning uh, when you say vanilla, it means nothing on it, uh, as in it, there's no mods or plugins or anything like that. It's just vanilla Minecraft, just what Notch created in multiplayer, if it actually decides to log in at any point in time. Alright, there we are. Let's go ahead and connect to localhost, uh, which will be the server that we're running right here. And you can see that I just connected, and this is vanilla Minecraft, besides our texture pack, I guess. Um... But other than that, this is just vanilla Minecraft, nothing, no plugins or anything. So let's go ahead and add a plugin to this to add a little bit more functionality. Uh, just for the purposes of this tutorial, I will be adding one of my plugins, which is called Scene. It just allows you to check the last time a person logged in to the server, in case you want to get information on that. So let's download the jar. It's called Scene.jar. And should be able to find it right here. Here, there we go. That works. All right. Uh, what you're gonna do? You're gonna grab that jar and then gonna go to the bucket server. There's a little folder called plugins that is created on first launch when you first create the server. If it's not there, just go ahead and right-click and create a new folder called plugins. That's lowercase p, plugins plural. Now let's go ahead and drag scene into there. Rename it to scene.jar, even though it does not matter at all. The plugin. Uh, name for the actual jar file does not matter and another thing to note is that you might not have this jar extension on there that's just because of my folder options i can see that dot jar there but it might just say scene for you that's not a problem you can just copy it over it'll work exactly the same way um, so now what we need to do is either type reload into console or we can just stop the server and restart it and as you'll see during a startup it says scene v version 1.0 is now enabled so if we relog onto the server, we'll be able to use the commands that the plugin gives us since it is now enabled on the server. So uh, I'll just do slash scene helix, even though I won't be able to do that. So yeah, never been here before, but if I disconnect, reconnect, it's going to tease me for trying to find myself. Scene helix, still trying to find yourself. All right, so that's how you install a plugin. You just drag and drop it into the plugins folder simply, and that is all you have to do. Uh, nothing else to do. Uh, if you're just getting started with uh, installing and setting up a new server, you might want to install something called Essentials. Essentials is like a plug-in suite for everything you might possibly need when setting up your new server. So, let me go ahead and show you that. 
Alright, so if you go ahead and head over to the link in the description or just search essentials on uh, bucket.org, then you will be able to find this uh, set of plugins, essentially, which is uh, basically um, core um, features for the server like login, MOTD, banning, kicking, uh, all these kinds of commands. You can see all the all the things right here, features and stuff. Uh, if you just take a look at the commands, they have like tons and tons and tons of commands. This is just everything that you need when you're first starting uh, a server. So go ahead and hit Essentials Core Download, and it'll give you something like this, which is our raw folder, or actually it's a zip folder, sorry, uh, of like four different plugins. You can choose to install whatever you want, but if you're going to install Essentials Chat, Protect, or Spawn, you're going to need the uh, basic Essentials Jar. So if you want all of those, just go ahead, go to Plugins, and copy all the jars over and restart the server. I prefer restarting the server to reloading it because the reload function that uh, they give you is pretty, uh, it can do a lot of things to your server that are not good if you reload it too many times. Instead of restarting it essentially, it just refreshes them and it's not, it's not very good for the server over a long period of time. Now, you'll notice that once you install a plugin, most plugins out there will generate a config folder, which can be found in your plugins. So scene generates a config which stores uh, the user and the timestamp for when the last time they logged out. Essentials will have a much larger config file of different kinds of things, but the mainly only the one you have to worry about there is config.yml. And that'll be uh, all the config for everything you could possibly want in your server. So. As we can see with the scene, uh, you can see that it was enabled here, so that should be uh, enabled as soon as you join the server. There we go. Welcome Helix to the server. It says slash help for help. That's your MOTD. That means message of the day. So whenever you log into a server, that'll be displayed to you. We can change that right here. There are a few variables, as you can see, like player. Um, we can do welcome, welcome to our awesome server. Right. And just for the sake of time, I'll just reload this, disconnect, reconnect, and it says, oh, it doesn't, derp, because I haven't saved the file. That'd be helpful. All right, reload, disconnect, reconnect, and there we go. Welcome to our awesome server. So you can change the MOTD like that. If you have commands like slash kick, if we actually, oh, Helix. So that's uh, giving yourself operator of the server. That gives you essentially uh, command over the entire thing, whether you have permissions to use it or not. So I'll kick Helix. I don't think we can kick that person. Yeah, but we have access to kick now, so you can kick a person. You can ban a person. You can, I don't know, uh, kill a person. There we go. Okay, so you have all these kind of different commands, which, again, you can find at uh, Essentials homepage, which is uh, right here. I'll put this link in the description. So that's how to install plugins. It's super, super easy. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.